is supposed to find a job or an internship in this economy? Man, I just wanted to read a chapter of Harry Potter and like go to bed before the sun came up. Hi! I'm gonna start this vlog off by being 100% honest with you guys. It's 3 p.m. This is my breakfast. If you are new here, welcome back to my channel. I post a variety of content, including some college stuff, some story times, a bunch of like Taylor Swift videos because you guys really like that. And I'm trying to branch into more like music stuff. But anyways, today's video is going to be me taking you guys through a week of my life as a music major here at OK State. God, I look like an egg with like hair. It's a new semester. New things are happening. Accounting doesn't exist anymore, thank God. And this is going to be kind of an interesting week because it's only three days, so I don't even have to vlog that long, but I still think I can get a bunch of content. I have to get fillings on Thursday and I don't have class Thursday or Friday or Tuesday but I have like online class it's <sighs> we'll get there when we get there today I just have stage lighting which I'm not super excited about and there's like heights involved sometimes and that makes me want to puke so I'm not gonna vlog in there because we're not allowed to have our phones out it's a two hour long class <laughs> I'm sad. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go suffer through a class that kind of makes me want to puke. Last time I came here on an entirely empty stomach and that was not a good idea because I started getting nervous and not having anything. Well, I don't know, is it worse to have stuff in there or not? This is getting disgusting. I'm gonna go to class and hopefully feel okay, gastrointestinally. I didn't mean to not vlog up until this point. But this is a second semester senior vlog, so I don't know what you're expecting. Yesterday after class, after I had initially vlogged, I got some like Asian food to go. Like I got the soup and noodles and I brought that home and then I spilled it all over my shirt. And so I took my shirt off and I was like, well, I don't want to get another shirt out because I'm not going anywhere. So I sat and I did, I tried to do my homework and I ended up falling asleep upright with no shirt on with my contacts in for like three hours. And then I woke up and it was midnight and I still had five hours of homework to do and so I just pushed through I did it and then I realized I hadn't eaten dinner <laughs> I guess I could talk to you guys about what classes I'm taking this semester I'm taking stage lighting that's my one in-person class all the homework I was doing last night was women's studies which is an elective basically all I'm taking now is like my leftover gen eds and my electives one of them being women's studies another one is French food which I kind of feel like an imposter in there like a plant-based imposter because it's all just like people talking about cheese and I'm like I cannot digest that. Women's studies is interesting but it's just so much like to do the discussion boards five hours guys five hours I wanted to go to bed at a decent time believe me I want to go to bed I'm so exhausted obviously as I fell asleep upright with no shirt on with my contacts in I'm just stressed man <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna be in a year. God, a year from now, am I gonna be looking at this back and laughing at myself? Or like, I think it's gonna be as bad as I think they're gonna be. I'm just trying to think of the positives. It's just really hard. I applied for some internships before the semester started, thinking that I would then be able to continue to apply over spring break, but that's not gonna be possible anymore. My shirt is inside out. Because they took spring break from us. I'll have to try to like squeeze in the time to do it. How are you supposed to find a job or an internship in this economy? I'm losing it. I'm delirious. I'm so tired. I mean, I just wanted to read a chapter of Harry Potter and like go to bed before the sun came up. I don't know. I guess at least I'm getting my bachelor's degree. That's more than a lot of people can say. It feels like I was just a freshman and now I'm trying to find my internship. People have joked about it being the final boss of this degree. It really is, man. Like at least there's no accounting this semester because I was crying over accounting for sure. But like at least with accounting, it's a class. Things are just straightforward. <laughs> but with life and finding jobs, it is not straight. It's like this. I'm sorry for this impromptu breakdown. I really didn't mean for it to go like this, but I can't get out of this funk. What else could I talk about that's uplifting? I cut my boyfriend's hair yesterday. That was interesting. I've never cut somebody's hair in my life other than like, I mean, I've cut my own bangs and I've like trimmed my mom's hair, but a male haircut is a whole different story. I gathered it all up into a ponytail on the top of his head and I just snipped like five inches off. And honestly, I did not a bad job at all. It's like very much rough, but it's like a rough outline of what he would usually ask from a hairdresser. So I think he can, they like buzz a little bit on his neck clean it up a little it's not like uneven or anything but it's just it, it needs a little work or he could go to a hairdresser and they could just like trim it up a little and it was just big crackhead energy man i was sitting on the kitchen floor with him with craft scissors because i didn't have haircutting scissors <laughs> blindly 
not blindly, but just hoping for the best. That's a common theme in my life right now. I'm just hoping for the best. Today I have to go buy a magazine for a school project, but first I'm gonna sleep really hard because I am hanging on by a thread. Ladies and gentlemen and non-binary friends, I've run out of skincare products I wanna put on my face and I don't like filming when I feel like this. I'm gonna go read a little bit while my hair dries and turn my shirt inside out. Nope, outside in. Okay, I think I'm mentally doing a little bit better. I know that's a lot to say sitting in here at 11 p.m. with vegan ice cream. I think I needed sleep, you know? I kept forgetting to vlog, but it's fine. All I did was sleep. And then I went to Walgreens and I got a magazine for my project for stage lighting where I have to cut out two pictures from this magazine and talk about how the light hits the objects in the picture. I'm not completely sure. We're gonna do that, but I'm gonna have to cut some of these out and I'm gonna be really sad about it because I did specifically get a plant-based magazine because I don't know how to cook for myself. I'm gonna try to not disturb any of the recipes and I'm just gonna cut out pictures that have like a light source that's obvious, I guess, like in the sense that you can tell which direction it's coming from. I think that's the most important part. Ooh, sweet potato pie. I'm not cutting that out. But yeah, that meltdown was wild. I think I, I shouldn't be so stressed out as it's literally only January, it'll be okay. Like things will work themselves out. My mom had to kind of like bring me down this morning as I was kind of panicking like, Maybe I should just drop out and be a plumber. I was like, how hard is it to be a carpenter? And she was like, if you can't even handle stage lighting, I don't think the carpentry trade is for you. And I was like, okay, mom, you're right. So I'm just gonna get this project done tonight. Try not to panic too much. Maybe read a little bit of Harry Potter. Harry Potter before I go to bed. And I'm gonna get some sleep tonight because I have to drive home tomorrow because I have fillings that I need to get done on Thursday. did my analysis over these two pictures. This is what it looks like. I have my printed out thing to present, but I basically was talking about how the light strikes these two photographs, whether it's diffused light, where it's coming from, what color is the light, what it bounces off of. I chose this picture because it like refracts through the mint tea. You guys don't care. I mean, this is a video showing you what a music major does. So this is what I've been doing. Now I'm going to do a reading for this same stage lighting class. And then if I have time and it's not ridiculously late it's almost two in the morning but i don't have class until 3 30 so i can kind of justify staying up a little bit too late and then if i have time i'm going to start and finish my french cuisine quiz that i have to do that's due tomorrow night at midnight and then i'm gonna eat some dinner <music> cheese can be created from any source of dairy don't forget nuts don't forget nuts <laughs> Float into the microwave. I'm so over this shit. It like spilled everywhere inside the microwave. You know what I did? I just scooped it up with a spoon and ate it out of the microwave. I have yet to figure out a way to go to a 3.30 a.m. Nope. I have yet to figure out a way to wake up for a 3.30 p.m. class and not feel like it's 8 a.m. and just absolutely dead. Okay, and my dirty dishes are just gonna go somewhere over there. gonna end the vlog here all i have left to do today is drive home to my parents house because i have a dentist appointment tomorrow so tonight i think i'm just gonna edit this vlog and do a little bit more of my french food homework what a weird sentence i'm trying to like figure out what other content i want to do other than taylor swift videos i think i want to shift more towards talking about books because i'm getting back into reading regularly thank god it's keeping me sane so if you guys would like to see stuff like that please comment down below comment what kind of books you like to read or just anything else you might want to see from me other than taylor swift stuff and i am going to go drive drive in the dark because it is January and it gets dark at 4 p.m. So I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you next week. Bye guys. I know.